Aftermarket parts have been buffed. In this new update, a few aftermarket parts have had a few tweaks to it. One being the Holger 556 with the Jack Signal Burst Kit. This mainly got recoil changes, making it easier to control and they decreased the burst fire delay by 25%. But what I really want to look at here is the Sidewinder Jack Thunder LMG Kit because this thing was already really good in zombies and they just made it even better. In the patch notes here, it says decreased bullets required to reach maximum rate of fire from 25 to 15. So that's a 40% decrease. And another weapon I'm excited to look at here is the AMR9 and its double barrel conversion kit. As you can see here in the patch notes, it looks like it decreased a lot of stats here, mainly for things at range, but the things that it did increase is headshot multipliers, also boost the rate of fire slightly. And then down here, it says that they overhauled the firing mechanism to simultaneously fire two bullets per shot. And one of the better tweaks to it is they decreased aim down sight spread by 75%, and they decreased the hip fire spread penalty by 50%, so this should be way more accurate now. There is also a little bit of a buff to the Rival 9 Jack Headhunter Carbine conversion version kit where it decreased some damage in some spots but really increased the multiplier to headshots so it went from a 1.3 times multiplier to a two times multiplier so this thing was already really good at dealing crit damage and now it just got even better and the conversion kit for the dm56 got the same changes as the holger so let's go ahead hop in and see if they're any better in zombies now i don't want to speak too soon but i'm glad that they actually adjusted the double barrel kit on the amr9 because i think this is a really cool idea for an aftermarket part and i hope it actually works well now but if you guys want to copy my build here it is for the sidewinder and here it is for the amr9 now let's go ahead and test these against all three tiers of zombies to start off with no upgrades tier one zombies getting obliterated the fire rate does uh, seem a bit faster and then for our amr9 I can't tell if it's shooting any differently, but from everything it said in the patch notes, we kind of want to use this closer up to zombies. We want to be at close range. Trying to fight them from a distance doesn't seem like the, the best move with this gun. And here's our Sidewinder against some tier two zombies. And my terrible aim. Hold on. Let's reload this. All right, let's try that again. These ones got armor too. Seems like I went through armor pretty quick though. And then our AMR9... Uh, that's, that's all right, I guess. And against a tier three fully armored zombie with our sidewinder. It is, you can't even really tell how much damage it did. Barely even tickled them. Let's try another mag. Yeah, they ain't doing anything. We got the health almost to the eye on armored zombie. Let's see how the AMR9 does. It's actually doing a bit more, it seems like. Well, let me try to get a little closer. I'm going to throw a decoy so they stay away a little bit. Now, let's see. That's not terrible. It ain't the worst, but they are slamming their meat on me. No pause needed. They just fucked me up. I need to get out of here. But now let's go ahead and upgrade these. We'll get them both to pack a punch three. And just so we can get a more realistic base for their damage, I'm not going to use any legendary aether tools today. Just an epic and a rare. But I need to earn my self revive back. So let's do a quick little bounty. All right, let's try out the AMR9 on this disciple. Already broke his shit. Seems to be doing pretty decent damage. And he's already dead. Only took one mag. And we got two self revives out of it. Appreciate it, Disciple. All right, now that we got a few self revives, let's make our way back to tier three. So let's see how this is doing against tier three zombies now. Unarmored, taking it out pretty easily. Armored zombies going down pretty fast as well. Maybe they did make this better. This could actually be a pretty good buff to the gun. And it does seem to be pretty accurate hit firing. But we got a mega bomb. Let's go try it against it. First, let's get these elites out of here. Oh, never mind. It's shooting a laser. We got to take our, our chances while we got them. Shit, dude. It did a little bit of damage to him, but he didn't even break his face. It's still standing strong. Ah, it's, it's, it's not bad damage wise. I'm still like on the fence about it. Now it's shooting another laser and we broke his face immediately. We already had some pretty decent damage on it. He's almost a half health. Oh, and he's shooting another laser. Gotta reload. Oh, just barely took it out. Damn, that was close. These zombies over here are confused. They're scared. They're not moving. What are you guys doing? Oh, we're almost out of ammo. Let's try to do what we can with these last 70 bullets. Oh, it's not a whole lot. Yep, we're getting smacked around. Okay, that's not good. I think that was my last self-revive. And now he's shooting another laser. We need to go. Give me some ammo and some decoys. Well, how about we just uh, not go down? Easy strategy. It's actually quite simple, really. Just uh, don't die. 
Oh, we almost got it. We are so close to death, though. We were literally one shot with no armor. And no frenzy guard to activate. Come on. Open up that mouth for me. There you go. Let me see them pearly whites. We got them. Woo. Just barely. It gave us napalm burst. I'm actually just going to take that right now. All right, we need to go resupply on self-revives. And then we'll come right back and try the, the sidewinder. We're going to have to earn our self-revive with blood. Come here, Mimic. Where are you hiding at? Am I in the wrong building? I might be in the wrong building. No, there he is. Absolutely obliterated. Hold on. Pause. There we go. And actually, since we're right here, where's the storm caller at? We'll see if this can still hold up against him. Actually, we'll start out with our AMR9. There we go. Stop him from sucking. Looks like somebody already did a little bit of damage to him. So we get a, a little head start. The zombie still fucked me up, even though I threw a decoy. Broke his mask. That's not bad. We're, we're doing some, some good chunk damage to him. This thing's so wishy-washy. I feel like sometimes it does pretty decent damage against certain enemies. Other times, it feels like it does nothing. Like right now, we're shredding him. Like we just broke his posture twice. Oh, now he's taking our health somehow from behind. It don't matter. We're doing enough damage to where we can kind of offset it. You know, let's use our Sidewinder to clear out these zombies. Oh, this is not really doing a whole lot. These zombies in the storm are always so fucking strong. They will tank all damage. All right, let's end this. Time to go, Stormcaller. You're done. After I reload. Stop taking my health. Damn. You can't fly away from me forever. All right, this should be it right here. Unless we get struck by lightning. Hold on. You're not making this easy on us. There we go. Took him out. And it's actually doing like semi-decent damage against the zombies in the storm here. Like you guys saw the Sidewinder. It was barely even doing anything. This can keep up a bit. All right, Sidewinder, it's your turn. There's the guy we're looking for. All right, let's see if this can still get the job done against him. Get that fire rate going. Start lighting him up. And he's charging right at me. No, he's not. He's shooting his laser. Oh, bad timing. Terrible timing all around for me. Oh, shit. All right. Lucky guess. He perfectly predicted when I was going to run out of ammo and shot his laser. This one's a little bit smarter than other mega abominations I've fought. He's using strategy. Oh, here comes another laser, but we're prepared for it this time. Oh, already got him to half health and blew up his face. He's pissed off about it. Dude, stop chasing me. Knock it off. I hate it when he just does this bite over and over and over. Now he's shooting his laser. That should be another head down. Let's go. Ooh, damn. We're getting pelted by that disciple there. Just got one head to go. Oh, and here's the laser. Perfect. Light his ass up. Ooh, stopped him from shooting it, but didn't blow it up. The last head usually seems to be stronger. He's got a little more health. And here's the last laser. This should be it for him. Yeah, this thing still takes care of business, even at rare rarity. And I guess this big horde of zombies was this doing. Some of them are powered up by the disciple. But for the most part, it's tearing through them. The reload isn't too slow either. And it seems to be slicing its way through armor kind of easily. And normally I do a tier three bounty, but I'm not seeing any. So uh, let's just go do an outlast. See if we can get some good loot on our way out of here. This is like the worst area for an outlast contract. I don't know what it is, but the lighting in here is always so bad. Like the second I start shooting my gun, the muzzle flash like almost blinds me. It's hard as shit to see anything in here, especially when hellhounds are exploding. But this thing is handling it. I haven't had to like, you know, jump up here and run around and just try to like kill time until the percentage gets to 100. And it's kind of just melting through things. Mangler did take all those shots though. Mangler's tough as shit. You're not shooting at his cannon. And there we go. We completed it. Get anything good from it? Not really. I think I had one good day of like insane loot and they just decided that I'm never getting that ever again. I guess we'll do a spore contract. Why not? Oh no, this guy brought a mega abomination over here. Come on. I can't even get to my, my item that I need for this. That's all right. Nothing we haven't dealt with before. This guy really just brought him to me and left. He said, you can deal with this, right? He brought it to the right guy. But now these are cleared. Let me get my inhibitor. Yeah, shoot your laser. Dumbass. 
What? Oh, did we just trade? That's so dumb. It was fun at first, dude, but you need to go. It's time for you to leave. Oh, he's so low, too. Haven't you seen what I've done to the rest of your bloodline? Actually, maybe that's why he's so pissed. I'm not about to go down, though. That ain't happening. Uh-uh. See you later, bitch. How are you not dead? All right, damn. Oh, don't emote. I'm gonna melee kill you just for that. Okay. All right, all right, fine. Oh, shit. I don't have another self-revive. Why do I do these things? Um, We're in G4. We gotta do this before somebody, these guys leave. I get a revive in G4. Everybody's already had X-Fills. These guys aren't though. But I think they just left. Everybody's leaving. Please, please. Look at that. Literally a nut hair of health. Why do I do these things to myself? I don't think anybody's coming. I've been left to rot. I don't think there's any hope for me. The storm is consuming my body. All right, well, let's just leave. Well, it sucks that we lost all of our stuff, but uh, at least we can try out the rival nine now. And here's the build that I'm gonna be using for it. And against tier one zombies, one shot some our usual but we got to remember that this thing is the best when you're shooting zombies in the head or whatever critical point they have and against tier two zombies it broke armor really fast and actually killed pretty fast they weren't kidding when they upped the the damage multiplier for headshots this is nasty now against a tier three armored zombie it is uh not doing like an insane amount but it's noticeable and we need to get out of here before we die. I'm gonna go try to get geared up enough to actually test this out because I can only come in with a pack two crystal and a, a blue aether tool. But I need to get some money and some perks. So I'll see you guys when I'm uh, fully geared up. Now, how's this doing against zombies here? Body shots, basically nothing. But the headshots, kind of tearing. And what about against this mega abomination? It is chunking his health. Hold on, decoy. Look how fast it's going down. This thing's crit damage is absolutely insane. And they made it even better. This has got to be so good on controller with dead shot. Oh, you shoot another laser. Perfect. That's another head gone. He's already almost dead. We just got to run until he's done trying to chomp us. There you go. Shoot that laser. I will take a down here if we have to, just to get a little extra damage. That's fine. Get a few shots on him while he's idle. He's almost there. Just a few more shots and he's gone. I think that's the fastest out of all the AMPs we've tried today. This thing's crit damage is absolutely insane. And let's see if the Stormcaller is still here. Looks like he is. What's going on, dude? How much damage are we doing? So far, not a whole lot. Well, let's wait till that mask is broken. There we go. Now that health is starting to come off. Ooh. This thing shreds. Don't you take any health from me. Knock it off. Or take it all. It's not really doing any damage to his hand, though. That really sucks. Like, the, the increased critical damage is really nice, but it seems like you can't really stop the Disciple from taking your health away. It is really good against these Storm Zombies, though. Like, look at this. I'm shooting them directly in the hand, and it's not breaking. Took way too many shots. I will kill you, though. You will die. Oh, that's so bullshit. Maybe not. The limb damage is so bad. It's literally made to get beat by the Stormcaller. But like when you actually get the crits on him, it does pretty decently. It's just he can get all that health back so fast. I'm gonna try for a little bit longer. But it's looking like this is like a, a war of attrition. Oh, he just healed everything for nothing. Why? What are you healing for? He'd even take the health from me. He just got it to get it. I, uh... I don't think we're getting anywhere with this. He's too devious to take down. We can't even get him to like half health. Oh, we finally broke his posture. And he just healed everything. He went outside the storm just to come back in and heal. All right, I'm done. The gun's pretty good. But it's, it's lack of limb damage is really stopping it from taking out the storm caller. 
everything else that you can hit a crit on, it's going to destroy. Let's go ahead and get out of here. We've done all we can do. But overall, it does look like these aftermarket parts are better now. Some are definitely better than others, but I'm just glad that the double barrel is actually usable now because that's such a sweet idea for an aftermarket part. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.